We are fortunate enough to have an artist residency with uh, Agua Sol y Sereno, artists from Puerto Rico, led by Pedro Adorno Irizarri. They've been working for 20 years in Puerto Rico in everything that has to do with mask making and traditional uh, comparsa de carnaval, which is the style of carnival that's very common in different uh, parts of Puerto Rico. We've been working on masks now for a couple of weeks. It's gonna be three weeks by the time of the opening of the 606. And we're gonna be showcasing all those masks that we've been creating in these workshops. And uh, we're gonna have 15 musicians that are gonna be playing. Uh, so a big procession uh, of Segundo Ruiz Valdez Cultural Center. Pienso que es importante que sepan que tenemos dos tradiciones, la de los cabezudos y los vejigantes. Estamos trabajando, la tradición de los cabezudos viene principalmente de España y nosotros lo que la usamos en Puerto Rico es para la fiesta de San Sebastián, aunque ahora se usa en, en todas las fiestas y actividades, y la de los vejigantes, que tenemos una tradicional de, de Loiza que se hace en coco y la de papel maché que se hace en ponce. Tuvimos la oportunidad de venir aquí a Segundo Ruiz Belvis y hacer máscaras, pero no nomás eran máscaras, sino eran vejigantes. Yo no sabía lo que era un vejigante, pero aprendí aquí, el maestro Pedro nos enseñó a hacer las máscaras y los disfrutamos mucho con toda la gente de la comunidad. I actually learned things by watching other people, specifically children. Uh, some of my masks was made based of what I saw other children doing and the techniques that they were using. It's really important to put together different generations, people, kids, adults, working together and learning from each other. Each one of them have to design their own, their own mask. We show to them the traditional vejigantes and cabezudos, the one we used to see in our tradition, but it's a creative mask making workshop. It's not learning or imitate exactly what we got in the tradition. paper mache technique. Um, this here is um, cornstarch, like cooked cornstarch. And basically you um, soak the paper with it and cut it in smaller pieces and start to cover the whole uh, cardboard mass and let it dry. And when it dries, it's come rigid. After you're done with the paper mache, it's just painting and go to the comparsa. I started right here with the red. If I put that red on top of the green, it wouldn't look as good as the red actually is. So we do that, and then we add all the colors, which is going to look pretty good. I believe that masks are very interesting because with a mask, depending on how it looks and what it looks like, you can transport yourself and other people watching you to another place. Parate, 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 bien, parate bien. Dijelo como yo lo dirigí la otra vez. to be marching with plena and we're gonna be having uh, also um, a brass with us and some singers too and it, again it's all about the fun uh, same fun that you would have on the street 
uh, bring it to, to a different setting here in the United States and Chicago uh, City and uh, just kind of show it off at the same time we have fun, you know? It was not only a workshop to show us how to do masks, but it was more than that. We gathered together, we communicate, we play, we dance, so it was so much fun. We came here uh, two weeks ago and made masks and learned from Pedro Adorno about all of the different uh, aspects of mask making in Puerto Rican culture and how that uh, transferred to Chicago culture. We actually came on a date night on Friday because uh, the grandparents had the kids and I actually thought I was going to come and kind of check it out, check in with Omar, check in with uh, Pedro Adorno and then take some pictures and go and we ended up staying the entire three hours and it was we are saying the best date night that we've had in a very long time. Um, a lot of flow happening, making a lot of friends. I did learn a little bit, maybe, about like the dance, I guess, because he, they would show us what dance moves to do while we were wearing the masks, so I got to learn that. Making masks is fun, and I really want to go here for my birthday. <laughs> for us, art is a really important way to connect community, but also to, to find another way to use that creativity to live uh, in a better place. I work for the Trust for Public Land, and we were very, very thrilled when we found out that we were going to be able to partner with the um, Segundo Ruiz Belvis Cultural Center. It's just such a magical, wonderful part of the, the opening celebration. The opening of the 606 is going to be our opportunity to show all the work that we've been doing.